Nanny McClung was born in Chatsworth, Ontario, and she grew up in Manitoba. She went to Northfield Public School in Manitoba, and she died in Victoria, B.C. She was a pioneer, a teacher for sound years, an author, a suffragist, a social reformer, a lecturer, a feminist, and an elder of the United Church of Canada. She fought for women's rights in Canada. She was in the Liberal Party for the Edmonton region and worked in the legislature. Nellie was born on October 20th, 1873. She learned to read at age nine. Nellie didn't start school until she was 10 years old uh, uh, and was a graduate from Winnipeg School in 1889 and received her first teaching assignment in Manitou, Manitoba. By 16, she had passed her teacher's exams. Nellie got married on 1896. Uh, Nellie became a writer in 18, uh, 1908. Uh, she organized the Winnipeg Political Equality League in 1912. She also participated in the women's suffrage movement from 1912 to 1916. She became a teacher in 1917 and was elected to Alberta legislature in 1912 to 1916 with the Liberal Party. Nellie moved to Calgary in 1923. Nellie McClung was a feminist and who lived in Gordon Head uh, from 1934 to 1951. Nellie Bill Klong became a writer by entering a writing contest. Her first book was called Sowing Seeds and Danny. This made her a well-known author. She has written 17 books and other things like short stories and essays and newspaper articles. The other books she wrote were Second Chance, Black Creek Stopping House, In Times Like These, Next of Kin, Be Good to Yourself, Leaves from Lantern Lane, About Her Home in Gordon Head, and The Streams Run Fast, and many more. Nye McClung was the youngest of six children. Her parents were John Mooney and Letitia McCurdy. She was married to Robert Wesley McClung, and they had five children named Jack, Mark, Horace, Florence, and Paul. Nellie McClung went into politics because she wanted women to have the right to vote. She talked to the leader of the Conservative Party, Roblin, but he didn't want women to vote. But at the next election, the Liberal Party won, and women got the right to vote in Manitoba. After Manitoba women got the right to vote, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and BC also got to as well. Everybody gave Nellie most of the credit. She was a role model for many women because she spoke out and was not afraid. She fought for the rights of women, divorce, legislative, birth control, old age, pensions, public health and nursing, women's property rights, mother's allowance, and free medical and dental treatment in schools. She was in the Women's Christian Temperance Unit. When she was alive, she was the most notable, best-selling, and successful Canadian novelist and writer. Nellie McClung has a library in Gordon Head named after her.